Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and today is Flashlight Friday. This is a feature where we unbox and review a torch or some form of flashlight for the purpose of travel. Sometimes you may not be in a place where there's reliable light sources, and this is the ideal accessory for travel. In this case, I am looking at something quite interesting. As you can see, the packaging is quite tight. There's a lot of stuff in here. And in this case, we're going to be reviewing a torch that comes bundled with four lithium batteries and a charger. So let's start off looking at the charger and seeing what we can find out here. So the charger charges from USB, specifically USB type A. And this charges a series of batteries which have different capacities. Essentially, this is similar to the batteries we saw last week on the Itonix torches that we purchased on Amazon. And in this case, it's a set of four lithium batteries. Let me open up the, this packet. Here we have four lithium batteries, which are 3000 milliamp hours each. And in this case, specifically are 18650 model batteries. So this is the equivalent of a power bank that I'm holding in my hand. They look like AA batteries, but these are significantly bit bigger. They will not fit in uh, a device that takes AA or, or AAA batteries. And then with these, there is also a torch. And in the case of the torch here, let me get this out. We have a metal torch uh, that takes one of these batteries. It has a clip, it have a, has a slot for charging, and an LED light with uh, a nice lens on it. So what we're going to do is look at the charger for the torch. This is USB-A to micro USB. So you can charge a battery in the torch as it is, as well as charge the remaining batteries in the charger that comes with this. And so for pretty much 15 pounds sterling, you get a pretty good deal here. You get four batteries, a torch and a charger. So in the case of say an emergency pack for your home or your travel kit, you'd have plenty of battery power in case you were say, camping or traveling to somewhere where there isn't power for a few days and you'd be quite safe in the knowledge that you've got plenty of battery power to get you through the trip with your torch. So let's see how these batteries fit inside the charger. Quite snugly. So I'm going to put three in the charger and we're going to plug the charger with its USB-A cable into our O for power strip that I regularly use for testing products. Let's undo the cable here. It's very tightly handled. There we go. And as you can see, the charger lights up. It's charging three separate batteries at the same time. But whilst we're at it, we'll take our torch, which is definitely more compact compared to the torches from Itonix we were looking at last week. And this one seems to be a vertical insert. Let's find out if I'm right. Okay, there we go, tight fit. I think I may have put it in upside down. Let's try unscrewing it and doing it again. There was a 50-50 chance of getting it right. I obviously didn't. So a flat bit at the bottom and then screw up till it closes tightly. 
Oh, there's no power whatsoever here. Interesting. So let's try charging this as well with a micro USB cable. Just see if for the few seconds charge we have enough to turn the torch on. No, we don't. Okay then, so I'm going to leave the torch torch on charge and the batteries on charge for a while and then go and test this in the usual test environment which we use on flash right fridays and that's my spare bedroom once i've done that we'll come back to you with our final impressions bear with us there may be an ad slot here in the middle and we'll be back with you soon okay then so we're back and this time we're in the same darkened room as we have been in previous weeks and let's see what this torch is like. So this is full beam, the standard one, and it's pretty powerful. Obviously this can be adjusted by pulling on the front of the torch and pulling it out and have a, a bit more of a focused beam. But in full beam mode, it is very bright. You click the power button again to get a slightly dimmed version. Just a little tap takes you down. This is much less bright, but it should make your battery last longer in, in the torch. And if you're doing something such as pointing it up to the ceiling, you still have enough use in a normal room with white paint and white paint on the ceiling to get some light spread across the room. And then you have a strobe mode, so bright, medium, and strobe. And this may be useful in emergency situations. But the main mode, the bright one, is very bright and adjustable. And it can go a bit dimmer as well. Okay then, so I'm back. As you can see, after a quick charge with a USB cable, the torch was properly charged and was working and we put it through its usual test in our spare bedroom. Now, I also tried pointing it out the window to see what sort of range the, the, the beam had, and it was pretty good. It got to the end of my garden really comfortably, which is about 10, 15 meters away. And I have to say, overall, I'm quite happy with the torch itself. Uh, the battery, after about an hour, an hour and a half of use, is still doing fine with that brief charge. Uh, once you get the battery in properly and you get it all set up, it's great. It's very, very bright. So for things like when you're in an emergency and you maybe have a power cut, I think this is a really good lighting solution for rooms, especially if you have white paint on the ceiling. Uh, in terms of its beam adjustability, it's very good. It can go to pretty narrow focus beam to wide beam just by gently pulling in and out on that and it works great and i do like the sort of ergonomics of this this is a smaller shorter torch than the itonics one we reviewed last week with the same battery so we can expect similar performance in terms of battery life now as you can see i'm still charging the other three batteries that came with the torch and they seem to be uh, going on. I'm assuming that they will switch to green once they're fully charged. And these are the same batteries as the Itonix torch that we uh, reviewed last week. So I'm going to have these three spare ones sitting in my room for replacing the one in the Itonix torch as well as this slightly smaller, more portable torch for traveling. So great solution overall, for less than £20 sterling, really nothing to complain about. A capable uh, torch with LED lighting, which is relatively efficient, four batteries, including the one that goes in the torch, and a charger. So I think this is the ideal kit for, uh, for your backup batteries in case of emergency, or if you go out camping quite a lot. It's a great way to be able to, to make sure you have light when you need it. And obviously, because the charger is using USB Type-A, that lends itself to being charged 
from a car adapter so you can charge these batteries whilst driving ideal if you're going camping anyway thank you for watching this quick unboxing sample test and review of this no brand torch i purchased on amazon we'll put a link into the description to where you can purchase this torch if you were to do so you'd be supporting the tech travel geeks through that affiliate link and as usual if you have any further questions you'd like to know more feel free to reach out to us here on youtube in the comments section below uh, as usual thank you for watching if you made it this far in this video and goodbye from me